Hey, hello, Oscar. How are you? Hi, Brandon. How are you doing? Hi, Jenny. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi, Jocelyn. Excuse me? Hello, Jocelyn. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, thank you. Okay, good. Nice. Hello, Reina. Jennifer, hi, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good, how was your day? Good? Was it good? Was it, was it nice? Was it excellent? Was it perfect? Kind of good. Okay, let me in the... I sent you some information about the third person, right? I think I have it here. Oh, yes, we can do this one. Just let me know. No, I want that. I want uh, this one. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, good. Okay, can you see the document? Good, 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 good. And then we have to save it. Just give me a second because I need to show you something that I have in this document, but it is a little bit rebel. It doesn't want to, to appear on TV. So we have this one. We have the properties. Details, we have this one. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, today we're going, I'm going to show you the document that I sent you today so that we can practice it. And uh, for the pronunciation of the third person of the verbs in simple present, okay? So we have, uh, we're gonna share the sound. I'm gonna share this one and here we go. Okay, can you see the document? Yep. So Yes. Okay. Yes, perfect. teacher. Excellent. Yes. Okay, then here it says, although the morphological suffix, it's a bit technical, pero so the hey for the curiosity of a dictionary, you can read a little bit more, so it's technical, right? He say, although the morphological suffix for third person verbs in the simple present tense is ds or es, the suffix is pronounced differently depending on the sound of the last syllable. Okay, aunque la mayoría de las palabras, el sonido morfológico que está acá, es en general las palabras se les agrega la s. Pero ustedes ya conocen el face, ¿verdad? Entonces, y también ya conocen mes. Dos, que es una dosis. Dos. Okay. Esto es lo que se les agrega. Hush. What is the meaning, teacher? Hush. Ya, ya lo voy a dar, ya se lo voy a dar. Pero quiero, primero veamos una, eh, ya ahorita, solo que, no, eh, que conozcan, por ejemplo, no sé si tienen, you can see hush. Yes. Lo pueden ver ahí. Yes. The hash. Yes, teacher. Ah, mire. ¿Qué significa? Silencio, right? Quietud. Okay, silencio, quietud. Okay, that's a little bit of silence. Okay. Okay, Jocelyn. Y así estoy yo. De hecho, si me desconecto, no se vayan a desconectar porque de hecho, estoy trabajando con un Wi-Fi de teléfono porque no me está funcionando. Ok. Gracias, Jocelyn, por informar. Good. Ok. Entonces, tenemos que face es rostro, right? Face. Eh, cuando vemos el tema, tenemos así muchas caritas felices. Faces. All right. Faces. Okay, faces. Then, eh, Miss, ¿qué es Miss? Aparte de que ya conocemos que es señorita. señorita. Pero acá, ¿qué significa como verbo? Creo que significa extrañar, si no me equivoco. Significa eso, ¿y qué más? Eso está bien, muy bien. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué pasa cuando ustedes, bueno, cuando no ustedes, sino que nos levantamos tarde y vamos a tomar un bus, pero como vamos tarde, ¿qué pasa? Nos deja. Ajá, entonces, ¿qué decimos? ¿Qué pasó con el bus? We missed the bus. Perdimos no, el bus. Ajá, ajá, no. Perder. Perder un vuelo, perder el bus, ok. Pero fíjense bien que es diferente a esta palabra. ¿Conocen esta? Luz. Okay, luz, que es lo mismo. Perdedor. Sería, ajá, viene de luz, el de perdedor, cabal. ¿Y como verbo? Solo. Perder. ¿verdad? Perdón. Por ejemplo, fíjense que no encuentro mi, mi teléfono. Entonces podríamos decir, ah, I lose, dice, I lose my, en presente decía, I lose my cell phone, pierdo mi cell phone pasado sería I lost, pero eso es perder un objeto, pero perder un autobús, usted no pierde el bus porque el bus ahí está, uno que no lo logró abordar, 
Entonces, como perder un vuelo, perder un autobús. Mes. Okay. ¿Estamos bien? Entonces, sí, sí, son dos formas en español, es lo mismo, pero en inglés sí se ocupan palabras diferentes, ¿ok? Así que nunca, usted nunca decir, mire, fíjese que vengo tarde, jefe, porque perdí el bus. I lost the bus. Porque si habla inglés, él se va a reír. Es muy super, el bus, ¿verdad? Pero si usted le dice, es, sorry, uh, chief, I, I come late because I missed the bus. ¿Por qué? O sea, perdí el bus, pero missed. Ah, ok, ok, no problem. Ok, good. Ahora, vean que, por ejemplo, lo que he puesto en rojo es lo que se le agrega. Por eso que aquí dice a veces, se agrega la S, dependiendo. Si como ya tiene la E acá, no se le agrega la, la E. Entonces, mes, si lo hiciéramos en tercera persona, ok, si lo hiciéramos en tercera persona, si yo solo le agrego la S, ya serían tres S. Por eso es que a esta palabra se le agrega una E. Y una S. ¿Ya? Entonces tenemos dos. Solo le agregamos la S. Porque hasta la E. Al igual que face. Entonces podemos ir concluyendo que. Si terminan en E. Solo agregamos la S. Ahora si terminan. Fíjense bien en estas palabras. Como S. En. SH. En CH. Estas que están acá en rojo. A eso les vamos a agregar. Y... Okay. Todas las que terminan en. En estas palabras, en estas letras. O sea, si termina en SH. Alguien me dijo ayer cepillarse los dientes, ¿verdad? Aquí, aquí tenemos H. Por ejemplo, si yo digo. Ah, pues agreguemos aquí brush. Brush. La tercera persona sería brushes. Y diríamos he brushes. Ese se cepilla. Ok. Él se cepilla los dientes. Si yo digo I brush my teeth, vean que no ocupo la S, estoy hablando de I. ¿Ok? ¿No problem? Ok. No, teacher. La procesión de vamos aquí dice faces, ok, faces, faces, ok, with a C. Mi, meses, me, mes, mises, no que es una I corta, meses. Meses, doses, houses, and catches. Catches, brushes. Ok. Vean acá, como estas terminan, por ejemplo, en consonante. Solo se le agrega la S. Se termina en E. Entonces igual lleva la. Entonces, o sets. O sets. Y tenemos rings. Esto no es para que se lo aprendan ya. ¿verdad? Esto es solo una... una... Un conocimiento general para más adelante y que ustedes vayan poquito a poco asimilando el porqué de la tercera persona. Ok, tengo breaks, counts, y ahí está cómo se pronuncia en, el, en los brackets, en esos paréntesis. Breaks, counts, likes, drinks, pops, and sets. Ok, breaks, counts, drinks, Uh, then we have uh, hopes, likes, and sits. Okay, we're going to use it here. 
He breaks, counts, drinks, hops, likes, sits. Okay. Lillian. Okay. Leales. Okay, Lillian. Lea estas palabras. Breaks, counts. The microphone. El micrófono. Okay. Um, Brains, cones, dries, homes, drinks, lies. Drinks. Drinks. Pops. Cones. Drinks. Likes. Home. Like. Sits. 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 Okay. Eh, Ivania. Breaks. Breaks. Count. Drinks. Hops. Likes. And? Sits. Sits. Very good. Excellent. Jennifer. Breaks. Counts. Drinks. Hops. Likes. Sits. Sits. Good. Jenny. Um, brains, count, drinks, hops, light, six. Sits. Okay. Good. Uh, Oscar. Brains, count, drinks, hops, likes, sits. Okay, very good. Now, what about this one, uh, Brandon? The first one. Faces, misses, doses, hushes, catches, and brushes. Okay. Oh. Faces, me, my, no, como era miss? Misses. Uh, misses, uh huh. Así es, ah, okay. Misses, misses yes. doses, hushes, catches, brushes. Okay. Good. Excellent. Uh, Reina? Faces, misses, doses, pushes, touches, brushes. Brushes. Okay, brushes. Good. Uh, let's see. Jocelyn? Faces. Fa faces. Misses, faces, misses, doses, houses, hushes, couches. Brushes. Catches and brushes. Uh -huh. Brushes. Brushes. Good. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Milagro. Yes. Tú, yes. No, Milagro no me lo ha dicho. Me dijo los otros, ¿verdad? And who's missing? Holly. Okay. So we have this one's breaks. And then we have the other one calls. Call. Uh, calls. Okay, destroys, gives, okay, moans, the moans es como poder, okay, eh, sufrir, okay, como cuando perdemos a un ser querido, right? Sobs, como sollozar, y aquí tenemos tries, este try viene de try, de intentar tratar. Try, tries. Okay. Edit. Good. Now, Milagro, read them. Okay. Soul, destroy, guide, mount, soul, try, and three. Try and tries. Try and try. Okay. All right, good, excellent. Now, do you have any questions in this moment? Okay, let me see now. Okay, wait, the internet is unstable in this moment. Okay, fix, look at this one, fix. 
fix tiene una sílaba, right? Con fix two syllables. Okay, now we have fix. Look, fix is one syllable. Solo se lleva una, una sílaba, okay? Fix. Cuando ya lo hacemos eh, tercera persona, suenan dos. Fixes. Fixes. Fix. Fixes. Okay? Kiss. One syllable. Kisses. Two syllables. Okay? Then you have wash. Washes. Ok, así es como cambian estas palabras y por eso es importante. Face, una sílaba, faces. Miss, misses. Those, those. Hush, hushes. Catch, catches. Brush, brushes. Ok, por eso es que se le agrega una, a veces una sílaba, ex, una S o una E a las palabras en este caso, solo la S. Para que suenen las dos eh, sílabas, ¿ok? Aquí va a ser una sola. Breaks, counts, drinks, hops, likes, and sets. ¿Ok? Oh, destroys, gives, mounts, stops, tries, try, and tries. Okay. And then wash washes, watch watches, damage damages, memorize memorizes, exercise exercises. Okay. okay. And this one is three syllables. Memorize. Okay. Y cuando le ponemos la S, se hacen cuatro. Memorize, memorizes, memorizes. Then you have uh, exercise, 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 exercises. Okay. It's kind of question. Uh huh. Y en la primera sílaba, digamos, fix, es solo para una persona y este, fix sería para terceras personas. Oh, eh, repítalo nuevamente. Es solo una sílaba es solo para una persona. Para, eh, puede ser para una. No, eh, ok, buena pregunta. Veamos. El fix es también para una persona. Ahí depende del, del, del pronombre que utilicemos. ¿okay? Eh, no importa, porque a veces puede ser we, que somos varios, y vamos a usar we fix. ¿Ok? Pero podemos alter, también decir I fix. Yo solo soy uno. Podemos decir you milagro, you fix. Usted arregla, you fix, solo es uno. Entonces, esto, recuerda que esto de acá, los de la derecha, Okay. Esto de acá 
son para he, she, it. ¿Se acuerdan lo que vimos ayer? De third person. Third person. He, she. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso siempre van a ser que se puede ser uno. Y esto de acá también puede ser para uno, dos, más. Right? It doesn't matter. Okay. ok. Are we clear with this? No problem? No problem. Va. Entonces, les queda eso. teacher. Ahí les queda el documentito para que lo repasen y se recuerden de por qué van a veces solo la S y van a ver diferentes. Más adelante vamos a ver aquí en los videos el have y el has. El have has. And they have he, she, it has. Okay. We have this one. Okay, but in this moment, we're going to see only those. Okay. Now, I'll show you the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. Oh, I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present. Okay, so the idea here was for you to see the affirmative sentence. You say, I walk to school, you ride your bike to school, he works near. You see, for example, in this case, y aquí pueden poner cualquier verbo que se les ocurra, right? I walk, I drive, I fix, I play, I study, and then se le pone el complemento de acuerdo al verbo, right? Uh, I work at school. In the negative, don't, you don't, he doesn't, she doesn't, it doesn't, we don't live, and they don't need. Okay. So this is what we checked last night. Okay. So we have this one, and we have some options. Okay. What are the options that we have here? Uh, let me see, Jennifer. Can you read this instructions, please? Puede leer acá. Hello, Jennifer. Complete this sentence with the correct verb forms. Okay, perfect, good. Complete the sentences with the correct verb form. For example, my family and I live or lives? Live. Live or lives? Live. Okay, por qué live? Vive en los suburbios. Ajá, pero, porque habla de, porque habla de, de mi familia. Ajá. De primera persona, no, segunda persona. 
¿Y qué más? Mi familia es tercera persona. Si cambiamos mi familia en I por un pronombre, ¿qué pronombre utilizaría? They. No, because it's I. So yo incluido. We? Ajá, correct. We? Exactly. Then you would say, for example, my family and I is we. Okay. If we, we say live. Ok, no lives, porque no es he, she, it, ok, good, entonces eso es lo que tiene que a veces okay. eh, poner atención en una oración, si estamos usando un sujeto eh, que es singular o que es plural, ¿verdad? Y si es con, si es más que todo que sea singular o plural, que se, si es tercera persona o si es cualquiera de las demás, solamente si es he, she, it, Vamos a poner, eh, por ejemplo, si fuera he, she, it, podríamos, cualquiera de esos tres tendríamos que poner lives. But in this case, no. Ok, it's live. Ok, the next one. My wife and I. Works or work? Work. Work. work? Yes. Ajá. ¿Por qué? Está hablando de, de mí. ¿Y de? Mi trabajo. No, el sujeto. ¿En el sujeto de quiénes estamos hablando? De mi esposa. ¿Y? Esposa. Y yo. Ajá. Volvemos a lo mismo que es mi esposa y yo somos nosotros, ¿verdad? My wife and I, si yo les digo a ustedes. Mire, mi esposa y yo trabajamos cerca de aquí. My wife and trabajamos, no trabaja. Right? My wife and I work near here. Okay? Always. Esa es la clave. Look at this one. So we, we walk or we walk? Walk. This one? Walk. This one? Walk. Correct. This one? Yes? Yes. Okay. Our daughter... Look at this. Our daughter Emily. Uh -huh. Works or work? Works. Work. Okay. Works okay. near here. Uh -huh. Works downtown. Because it's three person. Yes. Okay. It's only one person. Emily. Mi hija Emily. Okay. Mi hija Jacqueline. Mi hija. Eh, María, right? Then you're going to say our daughter Emily, nuestra hija. It's only, estamos hablando de Emily, only. Works. So she. Drive. She? Drive. 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 Or drives. Drive. This one? Drive. 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 Drives. Drive. Because right. it's she, right? It's she. We are using she in this case. Okay. What about the next one? Our son. Doesn't. Doesn't. doesn't okay. Drive. Negative. Good. Yes. The next one. Ride. He Ride. rides. Ride. His bike to school. He rides. Yes. And my parents lives or live? Live. Live. This one? Live. My parents live in the city. In the city. And okay, my parents live in the city. Yes. Plural. It's they. My mother take 
or Time. takes? Takes. 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 Takes a train to work. Yes. My father is retired, so he doesn't or he don't. Don't. Doesn't. Uh, he. Okay. He doesn't. Doesn't. He doesn't. Okay. He also. Use. Use or uses. Use. Uses. Uses. Okay. He also uses. Okay. Uses. Day. Okay, they don't or oh, they doesn't. They don't need a car. They don't need a car. Okay, there you go. So remember the key, okay, la clave is Identificar el sujeto, right? My family and I, we. My wife and I, we. We, we, right? Emily, our daughter Emily, she. She, yeah. our son, he. Okay. He. My parents, they. Okay, they live. My mother, she. My father, uh, he he. Uh -huh. he also and they and then you have all the answers correct okay questions all right so then no teacher perfect it's clear all right, so then we have, by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using irregular verbs. Aquí vamos ahora con el has and have, right? Irregular verbs. Now, let's take a look at this video and pay attention to this. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English. And irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs, have, do, and go, will change. And they change as follows. Have equals to has, do 
equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. Okay. And those are the work by bus. You have the verbs in English. And and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English. And irregular verbs are okay. Then you see, for example, here we have, I have, right? I have a bike. Have a bike. You have also, what's the one? A, we do our homework every day and my parents go to work. Then my father has, my mother does, and the bus goes downtown. Okay, so this is what they have about this verbs changes whenever we talk about my father my father has a car we do our homework every day notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother my mother does a lot of work at home the same with my parents go to work by bus the bus goes downtown. Now it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. Okay. Uh, but not this one. Okay. Now we're going to use the same strategy that we use. Okay, for example, when we have a, my, we're gonna use only half. Okay, we're gonna use this one, my, now we're gonna use this one, Betty as a dog. Okay, write sentences with Betty has a dog, a Julie has a, a cat, a, for example, uh, Jennifer has glasses, okay, like me. Okay, a, I have a watch, okay, I have a watch, a, I have a, okay, let's see here. Um, I have oh. Cell phone. Uh -huh. I have Milagro. I have a little <laughs> book. I have book. I have what? I have I have in the glass. Okay. Okay, so write sentences here with I have okay, I have a dream. Okay, tengo un sueño, right? Pero no un sueño de que hay tengo sueño de dormir, right? I have a dream. Tengo un sueño. De soñar, okay. Uh, what else? Fíjense bien cuando en español decimos tengo sueño para irme a dormir, okay. Pero en inglés yo sé I am sleepy. Ahí está. Sleepy. Eh? I am sleepy. Sleepy. Eh, es cuando, ah, teacher, I'm sleepy. Tengo sueño, okay. So then es tener sueño en español. Y el otro es I have a dream. Es que tengo un sueño en mi vida, right? Right. Comerme 100 pizzas y no engordar. Mm -hmm. 
Ese es mi, mi sueño. I have a dream. <laughs> okay. So good. Ok, escriban oraciones usando has y have, lo que se les venga a la mente. Solo que recuerden que has para he, he and it. Pero pueden usar, por ejemplo, al sujeto, por ejemplo, the dog has a long tail. ¿Cómo está? El perro tiene una cola larga. Ok. The dog has a long tail. Ok. Write sentences. Yes or no? Uh, affirmative or negative. It doesn't matter. Are you Pongalas en el chat, right? For example, like that one, you know, I have a cat, yes. I have a, I have a notebook. Uh -huh. I have a notebook. Okay. I have a notebook. What else? Pueden poner, okay, negativo, right? I don't have a bike. Uh, I don't have a bike. No tengo bicicleta. Okay, uh, she doesn't have a boyfriend. Okay, ella no tiene novio. She doesn't have a boyfriend. Okay, para que vean. Okay, my father has a cell phone. Yes, Oscar, correct. Good. My father has a cell phone. My father has a new new cell phone. Uh -huh, yes. Okay. Uh, my father has an iPhone. My father has a Samsung cell phone. Okay, a Samsung. And anything else. Write more. Scale on my height. My cousin has a, okay, perfect, Jenny. My cousin has a new car. Mm -hmm. okay. Dice que muchas veces se puede la misma oración. My cousin. Podemos usar la misma, alguien la puede usar, no importa. Es decir, doesn't, ah, vean esta. Uh, doesn't wait doesn't have a new car okay comparing esta con la de Jenny que está arriba my cousin has a new car even though my cousin doesn't have vean que utilizo doesn't y ya no utilizo has sino que vuelvo a have. ¿Se acuerdan lo que hablamos ayer? Que en las negativas se ocupa el doesn't y ya no se usa el verbo en tercera persona. My cousin doesn't have a new car. Ok, one more. Una más. ¿Quién me la quiere? Ok, pueden decirlas oralmente también. Si quieren decirlas, sí, porque si les dificulta escribir, pueden ponerme en la, por el cel o algo. Pueden decirlas así oralmente. I have a coffee after lunch. Ah, yes. Good. I have a coffee after lunch. Yes, Lillian, good. What else?
No one? Okay. Uh, Milagro, can you tell me one? Verbally, orally. For example, look, uh, uh, here you can say in the, um, uh, Jennifer, what do you have in your hand? Show me your hands. Jennifer, show me your hands. Muéstrame las manos. Pencil. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Then Jennifer has a pen in her hand. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Then this is, for example, when you use things that you have. My mother is sleeping. Uh -huh. Yes, my mother is sleeping. It's, but this, no, it doesn't have has. Okay, good. And then we have this one, all right. And let me show you some more. Okay, in this one. My parents, for example, you have have or has. Parent has, my parents have. Which one would you use? Como es? My parent have or has. This one or this one? They use, right? Have. Okay, good. My mom and dad say go. Okay, my mom and dad go. And then you have, this is they. My parents are very busy, so I. Do I do correct? I do. My brother doesn't live. Look, doesn't live with us. He he has right. He has an apartment in the city. Okay, he has. Then we have he goes or he go. Okay, he goes. He goes to school all day. He goes to school all day. Then, and he does, right? He does. He does his homework at night. Okay, he does his homework at night. And the third one, okay, I, I have, have, I have yes, a new friend. A new friend. His name is Jason and we, and we go, go to the sound school. We go, and yeah. we go, we go, we go, and then and sometimes no. we, we do our homework, we do our homework together, okay, so if you check and if you see here always, my, uh, my parents uh, is they, my mom and dad, they, my parents are very, they, I, 
Okay. Uh, he has. He goes. He does. I have. We go. And we do. Okay. So always remember the emphasis para terceras personas está en en el sujeto, right? Para saber cómo vamos a usar el verbo. If it's he, she, it son los que vamos a cambiar, right? Y right. si no, vamos a usar, por ejemplo, el have, vamos a usar I have, you have, we have, they have, okay, you have. Pero si tenemos he, she, it, o sea, he has, she has, it has. The only thing. Okay. Then there is no more change about it. Okay, so then we have the next one, which is a conversation about, remember, routines. Look, routines, daily routines. We're going to watch this video about the routines. And this is the last option that we have for today. Here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does plus subject plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word, plus do or does, plus a subject, plus a verb, plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus the subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example.
Okay, can you hear me? Yes? Yes. Okay. Here's something that um, my internet I think is slow. Está lento internet, creo que por eso que está congelado. Let me see. Maybe we'll make it short. Okay, that's who wants to stop. Keeps running and running and running. Okay, so this one, uh, we're gonna stop it here, no problem. Okay, so then uh, remember that you have there the yes, no questions, right? For example, remember the game that we played last time? Se acuerdan de aquel juego que hicimos? Do you get up early? Ah, uh, now he went to work. Do is the answer. Do yes. is the subject. Get up is the... So now it's working. Uh, yes, now it's playing. Verb. And early is the complement. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does, uh, let me select the first question. No, it's not really showing what it has to show us. It's running out of time. Okay, so this is what I was telling you, right? Uh, the yes, no questions is, for example, that what you have to practice. Uh, watch the video. Y mañana lo que vamos a hacer es uh, practicar todas las preguntas de yes, no. Uh, for example, you can say, uh, do you have a house? Tienes casa? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Uh, and then we'd say, for example, uh, does, uh, does Peter have a car? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay, does Lillian uh, have a job, tiene un trabajo? Yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. Okay, uh, does, Ivania have, does Ivania have a blue, a blue dress? Yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. Okay, so vamos a practicar yes, no questions. Okay, hay que practicar los verbos que, les, que vimos hoy en la cita esta. Y si pueden ver el video, véanlo. Mañana con ese video vamos a comenzar y luego vamos a hacer ejercicios orales y algunos y una dinámica para, para practicar just no questions. Ok. Eh, las disculpas del caso, por ahorita estuvo un poquito lento el internet. Bueno, no poquito, bastante. Eh, pero creo que logramos salir. Ok, so I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. And have a good day. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Goodbye.